after that last gasp. Dramatic winner by Andy Cook at Wrexham on Saturday. Bradford looking into this one in high spirits with plenty of belief as they take on promotion chasing MK Dons. They may have won on Saturday, but they certainly were their luck at times at the race course, facing 17 shots from a determined Wrexham. Tonight, they'll need to be just as determined as McDonald's and the door for men. The Doms also scored a late winner on Saturday after Tomlinson's deflected efforts and showed the most dramatic wins over Atkinson Stanley. He starts again, however, there are four changes from the side. He started the weekend with Norman, Aurora, Tesco, and goalkeeper Harness coming in. A very drizzly evening in Bradford as MK Dons send the ball in. That's not the most convincing of clearances. Bradford with bodies in the way, Tomlinson unable to find a way through. Again, really impacting the quality of the playing surface here, so a lot of it I imagine will be played like that through the air. It's the blue MK Dons on the attack early doors here as the chance for a shot comes in, and the shot does come in. And Alex Gilbert won't want to see that again. Jack Payne, apologies, with the effort from range. And the up bounce, well wide and well over. Goes the brilliant header won by Cook, but nobody onto it in Bradford colours. They do get it loose here with Halliday, who hooks it around the corner. And just a little bit loose at the moment. He's playing that's a good pass inside to Kemp, and he's got players ahead of him. They're desperately trying to stay onside. Here's Gilby now. Very few options available, but MK Dons continue to slowly progress forward. Cross comes in low. Well controlled, it might break here for the shot at goal, it's blocked. Still alive, then the shot comes in from an angle. And Matthew Platt was in the way. The supporters wanted the offside flag to be raised here against Alex Gilby. And probably should have come. Luckily it went wide. Holiday forward for the throw-in. Smallwood available if he wants to go backwards. Instead he goes... Inside to Clark Adore. But trickery in those boots as Clark Adore. Left footed gets his cross into the box. It's well controlled. Will the shot come in from the edge of the box? Yes, it will. Oh, what a strike. Matthew Platt with an absolute belter. The big defender really got his foot behind that one. And Bradford City lead against promotion chasing MK Dons. And what a strike it was from the centre back. He's not really renowned for his thunderbolts. But watch this. Tomkinson guides it over. And it's just a thump from Platt. He unleashes the beast and makes it 1-0 Bradford City. That's a good pass. Bradford with numbers back though in the blue shots and MK Dons. They're surrounded. Gilead. Able to get in the way. As Cook holds it up well, strong target man play continues to run into the box. But it's a door into the penalty area, left footed, it hits the post and the rebound falls to Callum Kavanagh. And Bradford, who weren't favourites for this game, are 2 0 up in the first half. The home support can't quite believe it. And Callum Kavanagh, the new boy, scores from about four inches out. His first goal for his new club, and Bradford now are in a serious position of strength. And the goalkeeper is quite unlucky as it spins off the post and into Kavanagh's path. And it was 2 0 to Bradford City. This is like Callum Kavanagh. And you're biting at the heels from. Smallwood, but MK Don's able to play on. They get the advantage. Will they get a chance to get a shot in at goal? No, they won't, but they have their advantage pulled back. And that's good referee in there from the officials. In fact, it's going to be a yellow card as well for their protestation. And who do you fancy here? Jack Payne is still over. It. It's going to be his left foot. Yes, it is. It's around the wall and it's tipped behind for a corner. Good stop, Sam Walker. Important goalkeeping, but it was a brilliant free kick. Found the gap, found the space, one kick. And the rain.
hasn't got any better in this second half. Let's see how if, it, if it impacts the uh, quality of the football. And here's Brad Halliday, good play from him. And now Andy Cook, who we didn't see lots of in the first half. And maybe we'll see more in the second as a door bears down on goal into the penalty area. And Kadons with numbers back there. It's still alive though. Halliday, did that stay in play? It's towards the back post. Oh, it hits the post and then it's turned in by Andy Cook. And it's Bradford 3-0 now. Quality celebration on the slippery surface. You've got to make the most of it as he knee slides towards the supporters. And Andy Cook is there. Two and two games for the big man. Halliday did well just to keep it in play. How on earth that headed him going? Thankfully, the rebound was there as Cook makes it 3-0. Here and Bradford are in. Is this the chance for four? It's scruffy, but Bradford still have the chance and they do make it four. It's Corkador who scores, and it was so so scruffy and so so scrappy. And MK Dons have shot themselves in the foot again. And the door brought in today. I thought the opportunity had gone, but Kavanagh just prodded it towards the door. He showed great composure to sort out his feet and stick it in the back of the net. 4-0 to Bradford City. Smallwood. It's a heavy pass towards him, but he thought the had the ball there. It's all very rough and tumble, and in the end, he does get a free kick. Not quite sure about that one. And, uh, trying to hurry up here. Our MK Dons, but oh, a mighty mountain to climb. Which would be easier to climb a mountain than trying to come back in this game. But it might be in here. Three forward in this attack for MK Dons. Brilliant footwork. It's scrappy. It's loose in the six yard box. And it comes off Walker and goes behind for a corner. In fact, it's going to be a goal kick. It was so loose in the middle. And Gilby was the man who got the last touch. But no, he wasn't. to sit in a deeper position and allow MK Dons to come at them. That's a good ball out wide. Four players in the box here in blue. Can a teammate be found? Oh, they can. They can find Gilby. And wide it goes by only a metre or so. He's been one of the standout players for MK Dons in what has generally been a disappointing performance. Strong wide play and Gilby just couldn't guide it into that far corner. Very unlucky. It's all MK Dons now. But I do feel as if they haven't got four goals in them, but have they got one? Again, a foul in the Bradford City. They've committed quite a lot of those. This one just outside the penalty area. As Tomkinson gets a yellow card. And who do you fancy this time? Tomkinson on the right foot or the left foot of Payne? It's the left foot of Payne. Oh, and he bends it just wide. It's a good attempt and his reaction. Shows you his frustration, not just at that free kick, but for everything that's not really gone the way of MK Dons this evening. And he plays it inside. And there is the final whistle. And it's a fine result for Bradford tonight. One of their best performances of the season as they brush aside the much favoured MK Dons, who are only for promotion this season, remember. Game, Alexander now has two wins in four days. Those coming against Wrexham and now MK Dons. A great few days to be a Bantams fan as it finishes here. Bradford 4, MK Dons 0.